The Make-A-Wish Foundation gave its first wish to Christopher James Gracious in 1980. Christopher was seven years old when he was getting treatment for leukemia. He wished and told stories to nurses who attended him about always wanting to be a police officer. He told them stories about how he would catch the bad guys and let the good people be free and happy. U.S. Custom Officer Tommy Austin from the Phoenix Police Department had talked with him while he was at the hospital with his mom, Linda Bergendale Polly. He had promised both of them a ride in the police helicopter that would fly them to the headquarters where Christopher would be later sworn into as the first honorary DPS patrolman in state history. The Phoenix Police Department gave Christopher a badge in honor to show them how proud they were of him of being so strong. Christopher's health only got worse. One day after his wish was granted, Christopher passed away and was buried in Kewanee, Illinois. Thanks to the brave soul of Christopher James Gracious, he has opened up new doors and new opportunities for kids that have been diagnosed with the disease. The Make-A-Wish Foundation grants 223,086 wishes every 38 minutes. May Patrolman Christopher James Gracious rest in peace. She is five years old. And um, I noticed uh, that she was sick um, like two weeks before before we got her to the hospital. Um, her symptoms were um, she slept all day. When she ate, she vomited. When we got her to the hospital, she they the, the doctors told us that that she had a five centimeter tumor on her left side of her brain. Uh, they needed to treat her really quickly because if, if it was not treated or had surgery, um, that day she, she, she could die. The same day they, they did an MRI and um, to know where exactly where, where it was. When they told me that she had a tumor, it was really, really hard to, to get it all in. It was like not true to believe because she, she's really active, um, she's really playful, she's, she's a really amazing girl. When they, they told me that she had a tumor, it was something that... Was it like, why me? Why my yeah, daughter? Yeah, I, it was like, oh, I, I see this in TV and you, and you don't even know if that it could happen to you or your child. And it was, it was really hard. It was, even after the surgery, I still couldn't believe. like a really normal kid. Did she did she even look like she was gloomy, she was moody, she sad, no? The uh, uh, before the surgery she uh, she slept all day. She I, I had to wake her up so she can eat something but after that she she would go to the, straight to the to the bathroom and throw up. After four days of the surgery, the the oncologist um, wanted to talk to us. She they, she told us that her tumor was really serious. They she said her doctor said that it was um, a stage four. Um, the the name of a tumor is um, glioblast glioblastoma multiforme 4. We also thank the Phoenix Children's Center for caring for Leah in such a special manner and for letting her be as healthy as ever. We truly appreciate the Make-A-Wish Foundation for giving Princess Reina Alia Samano Flores her wish of becoming a princess for a day.